Um, it's Tuesday morning. Um, yeah, so what are we doing? Road trip uh, part. The road trip part today, where is it going to bring us? It's going to bring us to Brussels. And the reason why that I'm particularly coming to Brussels today is because when I speak to people, you know, just we're just talking, where you're from, whatever, where I'm from, you know, I grew up in Brussels and, ah, Brussels, yeah, what's that? Oh, wow, well, it's the capital of Belgium, yeah. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, yeah, Belgium, yeah, yeah, Bruges. Yeah, yeah, Bruges, yeah, I've been to Bruges, yeah, yeah, I've been to Bruges, really lovely, lovely. And um, I'm like, all right, so the whole world knows Bruges, it's Belgium, but no one knows the capital, Brussels. And so I thought, you know what? Why not just um, show you in uh, this road trip some things in Brussels, which are really nice, yeah? really worth exploring. And so that's why um, um, that's why today we go to Brussels and we're gonna do as much as we can because there is a lot, even just yesterday when I started thinking about it, it was like, oh, I can do this, I can go there, I can do there, I can go there, I can go there. And the mom, mom and dad were saying, um, you, you sure you're gonna have enough with one day? <laughs> Without a doubt, Brussels is multicultural and uh, really exciting to come and see the many beautiful things that have been erected here. This is um, another, another part of this uh, multicultural place. Uh, this, is, um, this was um, the Chinese Museum in uh, Brussels. And it's absolutely, the architecture is just magnificent, phenomenal. Unfortunately, at the moment it is closed and I would say that I'm assuming they are refurbishing or redoing things on the inside making it nice and tidy again because it would be absolutely terrible to let this go to waste as it's absolutely yeah beautiful some far east architecture just here on our doorstep no chips like belgian chips <coughs> Samurai is, is, is hot. 